is a women's bantamweight matchup between Valentina Shevchenko and Holly Holm. Here she is, the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Holly Holm. It was Melbourne, Australia. It was UFC 193, November 15th of 2015, when Holly Holm effectively changed her life forever. Holly Holm changed her life, but she changed the landscape of mixed martial arts. Yes. She showed that Ronda Rousey was not this unbeatable fighter that everybody thought she was to be. Went out there, set her trap with that lead left hand, used her footwork and movement to walk Rousey right into a beautiful head kick that finished the fight. A multiple-time boxing champion, amateur kickboxing background, Holly Holm is just truly something special. And that Rousey win still one of the biggest upsets, betting odds or otherwise, in UFC history. Well, it seemed an eventuality that when the UFC launched its women's flyweight division that Valentina Shevchenko would rest atop of it, and that's exactly where she finds herself as she makes the walk here tonight. She knew that she would be the UFC flyweight champion. Even when her first title shot against Nico Montano fell through, she didn't moan, she didn't complain. She said, okay, sign me up somebody else so that I can go and win that title. So they said, okay, fight Ioana on JHS. She went out there and defeated the most dominant strawweight champion in UFC history to get that title. She's a phenomenal striker, a great counterpuncher, and has a full, a full array of skills to try to finish fights. When you think you're gonna stand with her, just ask. Juliana Pena, you end up on the ground getting submitted. She can beat you in a number of ways. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of. 14 wins, five losses. She stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA! Holly, the preacher's daughter! Paul! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Ishkek, Kyrgyzstan, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. in the women's game today and the expectations are not to see a lot of takedown attempts on either side. No takedown attempts from either of these young women. They both want to get to the center of the octagon and start to just let the hands and the kicks fly. This is the type of matchup that we always look forward to. Nice punch there by Holm. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Double leg. Stuffed. Big punch to the clinch. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Good right here. Holm gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Big leg kick lands. 
Shevchenko's got the clinch game going early here tonight. Holm gets caught by that straight hand. Such a fast leg kick. Shevchenko gets tattooed by that straight punch. What a takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Win the scramble, win the scramble. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet, now landing to the body. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? So the numbers continue to pile up. 30 total strikes have landed for Valentina Bulichevchenko. She lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's going to have to find some nice takedown. And that takedown was because she had to get that takedown. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Holly Holm. Right in the side control, yep. Shevchenko's trying for a Kimura here. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here, just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. That kick blocked by Shevchenko. Oh, she's got the right hand going tonight, DC. She's in a great flow, and she's throwing from her dominant side to land that great strike. Nice kick there by Shevchenko. Big knee. Wow, what a head kick. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, she blocks the punch. Oh, nice job by her there to land yet another takedown. I got to think at Gilroy High School Wrestling Practice oh. next week. Watching this film. I mean, we will show it. I will pull out the projector, put it up on the wall, and say, This is how you secure takedowns in a big environment. The state. An elbow! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh, nice punch there by Holm. Right under the elbow, the body keep landing. Left hand punch the clinch. Now goes in and secures the takedown. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling. Shevchenko's now trying for the Kimura. some of the action from that previous round, and she got knocked down, didn't see that strike coming. No, she didn't see it coming. She had taken a lot leading up to that. It wasn't one strike that hurt her. It was an accumulation of the damage she had taken that put her in that spot. She's tough, but let's see if she can turn the action around as we go forward. Here we go now with the start of round two. It is Valentina Shevchenko and Holly Hunt. Able to check the high kick. Nice straight punch. Beautiful body kick. 
Flipped with a left hand counter. Big leg kick land. Big power shot there. Outstanding kick there by Hall. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That was a thud leg kick. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Holly Hall. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. All right, so we're on the feet at least for now, but you got to think, at least from her standpoint, another takedown attempt is imminent. She's definitely going to be shooting another takedown attempt. It's where she wants to fight, and I really do applaud her for knowing where her strengths are and making sure she is fighting right there. The fight stats plenty more where that came from, but thus far, 60 total strikes have now landed for Valentina Shevchenko. And landing with 60% accuracy against Holly Holm. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. Oh, nice jab. Just out of range with that right hook. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so she lands another takedown here. I'm not saying she can take you down, but she's had no problem taking her opponent down tonight and continues to score points even though she's not necessarily keeping her down. She's doing it over and over again, and she's so confident in her wrestling that even though you may not think she can take me down, John, she, in her mind, definitely believes it. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Man, she can hardly stand now, and if she was a step behind before when she was fresh, how do you think she feels now that she's barely able to step on that leg? Try to establish that jab. What a punch. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful pick. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. She's got to go and attack the hips, create some space, trip off to the side, re-slide in that half guard so that then now she's a little bit safer. Once you're in half, take your underhook, get back to your feet, or fully recover full guard. Oh, massive leg kick. How many more can she take? Well, I'm not sure if she's a former soccer player, but certainly looks like one tonight. Just sheer volume with these kicks, and most of which sure land. Even when you're kicking, it hurts. It hurts when you kick the elbow. It hurts when it gets checked. It is not deterring this young lady from doing exactly what she feels she needs to do to win this fight. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Straight punch lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. While she connects with the right hand, she loves that right hand, and why not? It's her best punch, and if her opponent doesn't change something, she's going to go to sleep. Oh, nice job to get the takedown late in the round. Certainly not resting on her laurels here as we wind it down in this round. She's a grinder. She's going to take it on at the beginning of the round, middle, and the end. You have to know that you will be constantly under attack from this wrestle-heavy approach. Final seconds here of round two. Lands with the right hand. Two rounds in the books. All right, great round it was. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, a lot for the replay guys to choose from. But, John, it's 
going to be mostly kick, right? She landed him over and over again, found her target, locked in on it, and drove her shin right through her opponent's body. That was a great display of kicking in the UFC. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and shout out to the Diaz brothers and everybody watching in the 209, because it looked like the Diaz sister there in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy on it. She took that same type of approach. I will set a pace that you are not able to keep up with. I will put my hands on you over and over again. I'm not going to hit you hard every time, but I'm going to keep touching you until eventually you're going to melt in front of you. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, she put everything into that one. Huge kick. Big elbow there. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Right hand puts the clinch. Shevchenko's got the tie clinch now. Oh, nice punch there by Holm. Superman punch lands! Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Trying to find a home for that right hand. That's a really strong leg kick there by Shevchenko. Great action to get to that takedown. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground bomb. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. The number's 126. Total strikes have landed for Valentina Bulichevchenko. And still above 50%, landing with 56% accuracy against Holly Holm. Oh, nice. Shevchenko gets in the clinch here. She's a physical fighter, but particularly in this position. You gotta check these low leg kicks. There's the shot, there's the takedown by Valentina Shevchenko. Two minutes now to go in the round. It's a good right hand right there. Oh, she's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Landed a big kick there. Oh, nice right hand, John. All the damage to that leg starting to take its toll. You see her limping a little bit. That was lightning fast, that right hand. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent the half guard, I would say. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard, throw up some submission to get back to your feet. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground moving. There it is. Surprise there. 
visibly limping here. Beautiful punch. Superman punch. Ten seconds to go. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays. You knew she came in with the book on her as a kicker, and her opponent did nothing to adjust. Her opponent didn't check one kick, so why would she not continue down that path? Why would she not continue to throw her hands just to set up those beautiful, nasty kicks? And she is landing them with full force every time she throws them. All right, so here we go with our next round. Will the narrative be the same? In the previous round, it was all about her kicks, the power, the accuracy, really a sight to me. I don't know why it will change. I don't think that her opponent has received the advice that she needs to make the necessary adjustments. She will go out there and start doing the same exact thing, which will, in turn, put her right back on the receiving end of those nasty kicks. Trying to kick the leg out. Throws the right hand there. Oh, Superman punch is good. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting one, two. What about the one, two? Beautiful level change, Lisa to take. Pretty significant as well to the left side. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Shevchenko's got the full mount. How good is her arm ball? We'll see if she can set it up here. Attacking arm ball. Oh, nice job by her. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. That's a big strike right there. And she misses with the left punch there. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Nice right hand. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow oh! it up? She can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to chase the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Massive head kick. She's her bad. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, Holmes' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. You don't know when that leg kicks coming. Back and forth we go. Nice kick there by Holmes. Oh, 
Oh, you can see her limping a little bit now. That leg is hurting for certain. Here's the kick blocked by Shevchenko. Nice leg kick land. Goes down again. Back to the feet. Oh, she landed a big knee to the body. Oh! Shevchenko with a beautiful one-two there. Now we'll see if she can follow it up, DC. I mean, she's going to follow it up. That's what Valentina does. She's a sniper. She picks you apart. When you start to find comfort, Valentina puts you right back in an uncomfortable situation. Ten seconds to go in round four. Lands a kick there. She might be the best kicker in this division. She may just be the best kicker in this entire division. She does a great job of using that as a way to dominate a fight. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round. DC, talk us through the knockdown, if you will. I mean, she was able to get to her spot. She was able to find the sweet spot, land that strike that put her opponent on her butt. Next time she lands that, the fight will be over. All right, here we go with our next round. Two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You gotta make a decision when you get up off of your school, going to the next round, that this is my fight, and I am not gonna allow it to stick to my thing. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. It's messed up really bad. Good punch land. Good combination there by Shevchenko. Great timing on that double leg. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Shevchenko. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Oh, spinning back fist lands. What you're gonna see with this young lady, is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Double leg takedown, that's her best shot, good again. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground account. Oh, can't put any weight on it. All right, so we got a little bit of separation now, but watch out for the setup. You gotta think she's gonna shoot for another takedown. She's gonna shoot for another takedown, and it may not look pretty. It may be her taking a shot from halfway across the octagon. As long as she gets into contact, she is comfortable because she wants this fight down on the floor. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Shevchenko gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, she left at her and lands the diving punch to the head. Right hand on point. Holly Holmes in half guard. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. All right, she's going for the arm bar here. Nicely done. All right, getting 
late in the fight, this should be good. It's been all action thus far, and we will see which woman steps up. These women have laid it all out on the line. They have sustained this pace the entire time. Who is going to be able to finish the job? She lands the switch team. Ooh, what a punch. Shevchenko's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite pool starting to form on that right side. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big body kick land. Nice combination of kicks there by Shevchenko. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. One minute to go in the fight. Well, she keeps going back to that right hand. This one's not there for her. Well, she might as well scream to the entire arena that she's going for the takedown there. Goes for it again, and once again, able to get the fight down. I mean, she got it. It is amazing to watch somebody implement their game plan to perfection like this. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You got to make sure you're on an elbow control, underhook, and get back to your feet. Nice punch lands over the top. Shevchenko gets caught by the inside leg kick. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so the fighters go to this. It's a pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her, and you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that strike to win a pretty easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-27. The winner by unanimous decision, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. All right, so the judges are unanimous in their decision. She gets it done tonight. Big tests lie ahead. Tonight, she passed this one. You knew right away that this would be her toughest fight, and it showed itself in the octagon. Her opponent is a very skilled fighter, so the finish did not present itself. So what did she do? She 